Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dear brothers and sisters everywhere, dear viewers everywhere, hello and welcome to a new episode of your show, Huda Quest. Huda Quest is the show where we get to have a competition between two participants, where we get to have fun and learn at the same time. And in every episode, we're joined by two brilliant smart kids. They get to have a competition, and by the end of each episode, we get to know who is the winner. And of course, along the way, we get to learn and have fun, test uh, our memory, and test a lot of other skills. Allow me to welcome our participants for today. We have today, uh, we're honored uh, to be joined by Azza. Hello, Azza. Hello. It's very nice to have you on the show. How are you doing? Good. Uh, have you ever participated in shows like this before? No. Really? Are you excited today? Yeah. Amazing. And we're joined also by Kamal. Hello, Kamal. It's very nice to have you on the show. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Are you sleepy today? Kind of? No. Are you excited? Yes. Nervous in the beginning a little bit? Kind of. Kind of? Okay. Well, so I'm going to explain to you now how the competition will work. In the beginning, we have what we call rapid questions. I'm going to be asking each one of you 10 questions within a one uh, minute time limit. So you'll be asked 10 questions and you have to answer as many of them, as many correct answers as you can within the 60 second time frame. And for each correct answer, you'll get 10 points. Okay, so for each correct answer, you'll get 10 points. If you can't answer one question or if the answer is wrong, you'll just get zero for that particular question. After that, we move to the second phase of the show, which is going to be guess the image. We show you a picture and it's covered by nine squares. And you have uh, the chance to reveal uh, uh, the number you like from the squares. But keep in mind that for each square you reveal will deduct 10 points out of the points you got in the first game. Uh, and then you have to guess what that image is. And after that, the last stage is, is going to be the spinning wheel. And once we come to the spinning wheel, I'll explain to you how that game works. Are you ready for the first one? Yes. Sure? Yeah. Okay, Azza, are you ready? Yes. We're going to start with you with the rabbit questions. Let me ask you in the beginning, are you good with knowledge and stuff, general knowledge, cultural knowledge, stuff like that, history? Kind of. Kind of? Okay, yeah. do you read? Do you like reading? Yeah. Things? Amazing. So yeah, when you read more, you definitely get a lot of knowledge and you learn about many things. Okay, so we'll start now and we'll have the timer and mm -hmm. try to answer as many questions as you can as fast as you can. Mm -hmm. So let's have the timer. Once the timer starts, we will start with the questions. The timer started already. What is the most consumed manufactured drink in the world? Tea. Tea. Amazing. Thank you. Correct. What? Uh, uh, Food that is edible and that never goes bad. Honey. Honey, correct, thank you. Which country invented ice cream? China. China, thank you. How many hearts does an octopus have? How much what? How many uh, hearts does an octopus have? Eight? Uh, no, less than that. One. No. Two. No. Four. No, you skipped the number, you skipped the good one. Three. Three, correct, thank you. Synonym of duration. Like the, the same meaning of duration, duration. What does duration mean? I don't know. Okay, well, let's skip this one. Second to none means. Well, so when I say something is second to none, what does it mean? We'll skip this one, fine. Antonomy of clap. When you clap to somebody, what is the opposite of clapping? You, you watch a lot in football matches and stuff like that. They say boo. Scream. Scream or saying boo. Boo is like, hey, this is, this is not great. Okay, so that, 40 points. 40 points, Azza. Not mm -hmm. bad. Really good start. So well done, Azza. Thank you so much. You did a really good job. Hmm. Muhammad, are you ready? Kamal, I'm sorry. Muhammad. Muhammad is my name. I'm really sorry. So Kamal, are you ready, Kamal? Yes. Sure? Yes. Okay. So, uh, before, uh, are you good with general knowledge, stuff like that? Yes. Do you read? Really? Do you read? Amazing. Fantastic. Okay. So we're going to start now. 
and I'm going to start to give you another chance with some of the questions I asked your sister. So, we're started. Synonymy of duration. You know what duration means? Duration. Duration. Like that. Okay, we'll skip this one. Second to none means? Second to none. Okay, first, Mu'adhin uh, in Islam is? Uh, Bilal. Bilal ibn Rabah, may Allah be pleased with him. Thank you so much, correct. Who is the, uh, Mecca is located in the western or the eastern side of Saudi Arabia? Uh, the eastern. The eastern or hmm? the, west? the western part of Saudi Arabia, correct, thank you. Uh, the battle of Khandaq or the trench was the second or the third or the first major battle in Islam? Um, hmm. Try to guess. Khandaq? Yes, Khandaq. Correct. And what is it? Uh, third or first or second? Uh, sec Thir sec third? third, correct. Thank you so much. Uh, a child's tantrum usually involves crying or laughing? Uh, crying. Crying, correct. Thank you. Sina oh, 40 points. That's the same. Correct. Good, good job. Good job, Kamal. Good job. I know. What a relief, right? You don't want your sister to surpass you, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, we're not done yet. We're still having more games, so there is a chance for you to make up for that. Uh, let me ask you, uh, Kamal, what is the best way to, you know, be knowledgeable and to learn about things and to be well-rounded? By reading a lot of uh, books and uh, all, and not not using a lot of devices. Exactly, this is correct. Not using a lot of devices. A lot of screen time is bad for the memory, and the knowledge you get from these devices it just goes away. It just evaporates, right? Mm -hmm. Azza, yeah. uh, do you do a lot of screen time every day? Maybe. Uh, are you trying to cut down on that? Yeah. Okay, amazing. This is amazing. Okay, so now we're ready for the second one. And this one, you know, really tests your ability to guess, to surmise, to your, you know, to have a hunch, okay? So, let's have the, guess the image with Azza. Here we are, guess the image. As I told you, you have an image behind these line squares. And for, um, for each one, so you, you have the chance to reveal any one of these squares. And for each one you reveal, uh, 10 points will be deducted out of okay. your points. Okay, which one would you like to reveal? Five. Five. We'll see. Okay. Tiger. Tiger. Are you sure? Yeah. Really? Would you like to reveal? It is correct. Thank you. Amazing. Good job. Really amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was a good one. Well, this game is like the pump in the road. So we take 10 points out of you for revealing that. And then we give you these 10 points back. So it's like a bump in the road and you have to just pass through it to go to with the last stage, which is the spinning wheel, which involves mini games. Okay, uh, Kamal, are you ready? Yes. Sure? Yes. Okay, let's have guess the image for Kamal. Here it is, Kamal will have the guess, guess the picture. Okay, nine squares. Which one would you like to reveal? The timer will start now. It already mm. started. Three, are you sure? Really? Okay, let's reveal three. Oh, I wanted you to reveal another one to be able to see the full picture. Can you guess what that is? The sky. Sky. Really? Are you sure? Yes. Okay. We'll see if it's the sky or not. It has to be like the major thing in the picture. Oh, it's not just the sky. It mm. is a tent in the desert. Mm, unfortunately. Sorry about that. I know you'll make up for that with the next game. So good job. Good job. At least trying. And... So, now we have done a really good job, both of you, you've done mm -hmm. a really good job with the first uh, stage and with the second stage. But before we move to the spinning wheel, we're going to take a very short break and we'll be right back, okay? So brothers and sisters everywhere, stay tuned, we'll be taking a very short break and we'll be right back. <laughs> We are back, brothers and sisters everywhere, after this short break. And now it's time for the spinning wheel. And before we have the spinning wheel, let me ask Azza. Azza, have you ever heard of the spinning wheel? No. And what do you imagine, you know, from the way it sounds, what do you imagine the spinning wheel is? There is a spinning wheel, wheel and it has uh, games on it. And then there is 
uh, when when it lands on a game we play it. Exactly, when it lands on a game we play it. Exactly. Thank you so much. Okay, so are you ready for the spinning wheel? Yes. For the spinning wheel, we have four games. Uh, um, well, it's just like uh, we'll take, we'll have the chance, and we'll see what the spinning wheel decides for you. One of them tests your memory, the other tests your critical thinking skills, and the other one tests another thing and the observation. So we'll see. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, we'll have the spinning wheel, and I want you to tell the spinning wheel to spin. Okay. Okay. Let's have the spinning wheel. Spin. Here it is spinning. See? It's very polite. It listens to you. Catch the difference. Of course, you know this one. We have two pictures, five differences, and you have to catch these differences. Are you ready? Yes. You have one minute. Uh, we'll have the pictures in front of you. For each difference you catch, you'll get 10 points. Okay. So there's a lot of points in this game. Are you ready, Azza? Yes. Sure? Okay, let's have catch the difference. Let's have the two pictures. Here it is. Are you ready? Yes. Go ahead. Um, he, the guy, ha the hand has blue and orange. Yes, the hand, blue and orange, yes, exactly. There's Correct. a hole in the tree. A hole in the tree, correct. Um, there's hmm. birds at the top. Bird at the top, yes, birds, yes, there, okay, correct, thank you. Four the birds. leaf is not the same there. The leaf is not the same, which leaf, which one? Uh, in the Yes, end. correct, thank you. Hmm. Um, one is left. Hmm. Yes. I the mushrooms. Yes, the mushrooms. Correct. Thank you. Thank you so much. The mushrooms. Thank you. Correct. 50 points for this. Amazing performance. Good job. Good job, Yay. really. I like the happiness. Yeah. Are you happy now? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Accomplishment. Real accomplishment. Thank you so much. And yeah, now you can see that you have a lot to do when it comes to observation and observing things and paying attention to things. Okay. It's your turn. Come on, uh, I can't promise you that it's gonna be the same game, but I can promise you that it's gonna be an interesting one, okay? Are you ready? Yes. Can you tell the spinning, we'll have the spinning wheel and then just tell it to spin, okay? Spin. spin. Spin, here it is. You know, it listens to you, that's the thing. Two similars, okay. This, you know this one? This one relies on memory mostly, actually. You have six pairs of shapes and you have to match them. We'll give you some time to memorize them and you have to match them. And you have also to, you can also do something which is exhaust all the, the, the options. So when you like finish three shapes, when you get 30 points, and then you can just try other pairs randomly within the time limit, you can definitely do that. Are you ready? Okay, so let's have it. So we just want you to pay attention to try to memorize them, okay? Try to memorize and match them. One with two, one with three, four with five. Okay, here you go. Mm, try to remember. Huh? Are you ready? The timer started. Go ahead. One with uh, I went to five with eight. Five with eight. Let's see. Correct. Thank you. Ten with four. Ten with four. Mm, wrong. Oh, seven with four. Seven with four. Correct. Hm. Uh, hm. Time. Time. Nine and three. Nine and three. Nine and three. No. <laughs> try, try, try. Twelve and uh, three. Twelve and three. Correct. <laughs> uh, two and six. Two and six. We'll see. Not correct. <laughs> One and uh, ten. One and ten. Correct. <laughs> uh, six and eleven. Six and eleven. And uh, six and nine. Okay, six and nine. Correct, thank you so much. Good job, really good job. 90 points uh, so, so far. So you got 60 points for that. Really, really good job. Thank you so much, Kamal. Both of you did a good job. We're not mm -hmm. done yet. The, I have a feeling that the next game is going to test, test our memory. Azza, are you ready? Yeah. Sure? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, is your memory great? Can you remember things? Yeah. Really? Good, we'll test that now. Okay. Can you tell the spinning wheel, which will appear now in front of us, to spin? Once it's there, tell it to spin, okay? okay. Let's have the spinning wheel again. Tell spin. It to spin. Here it is. It's very polite. It listens to you. It's 
slideshow. Okay, this one tests your memory. So we're going to show you six pictures and you'll have to remember as much as you can about all of them. We might ask you about the order. We might ask you which one was the third picture. Try to remember as much as you can about them. Mm -hmm. Okay? And then we'll ask you a question later and then it's just one question. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Here it is. Mm -hmm. Then the last one. Okay. Can you remember? Tiger. Okay, Tiger, which one was, was it? First uh, one. The first one. What was the second one? The second one. Polar bear. Polar bear. The third one? Um That's Penguins. That's the penguins? No. We'll check now, by the way. Tiger. Ta so the first one is tiger. Mm. Second one, polar bear. And the giraffe? third one, giraffe. Let's no. see. So let's check the first three ones. And I know this is difficult because uh, it would have been much easier if we uh, asked you to pick the fourth and fifth and sixth because they're pretty recent. But we'll see. Let's have and let's see what is the first one, second one, and the third one. So you said the first one was tiger. Correct. Thank you. You said the second one was polar bear, correct, thank you. You said the third one was giraffe, thank you, correct, thank you. Good job, 10 points for that, good job. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Azza. It's your turn, Kamal, again. Are you ready, Kamal? Yes. Sure? Yes. Okay. Let's have a spin wheel, okay? Spin. Spin. Mm, the odd one, okay. So, this one relies on critical thinking stuff they talk about in schools and in academia and stuff. Well, we have it here as a game. So, we have four pictures. One of them is the odd one. You have to figure out which one is the odd one. One of them is strange. So, they all follow sort of a pattern. There's something in common between three of them except for one. And you have to tell us which one is uh, the odd one and why. Okay? We can't help you with why, but you have to tell us which one is the odd one. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Let's have the odd one. I think this one is fairly easy. Four? Wait, wait. So, uh, you know what four is? Well, uh, I think clouds. Clouds, yeah. clouds, yes. But, uh, but we can't really see clouds at, at night time. Uh, yeah, but fine. Like, you have to figure out what's wrong with them. So think about the source of all of them. What is the source of each one of them? The thing that it originated from. Three? So, th three is the odd one? Sure? No, uh, I think it's... Hmm? Yeah, three because it has like bubbles. It has bubbles? Are you sure this is the last answer? Yes. Okay, we'll see. Let's see if it's the correct answer or not. Azza has another answer. Which one is it, Azza? Two. Two, why? Because um, the, there is water and ice and clouds, they all like are together. Juice is something else. Yeah, absolutely. And all of them actually originated from water. Clouds are originally water that just evapor evaporated into the sky. Same with ice, same with water. So the um, juice, it's completely different. However, uh, thank you so much for trying. So unfortunately, it's not uh, correct. Uh, you, uh, you did not uh, answer the correct one, but you did a good job with the other games. So thank you so much and thank you for trying. Uh, you know, this, these sort of games always uh, help us, you know, remember and figure out things. And they're funny. They're enjoyable at the same time. So whom do you expect to be the winner of this episode? Mm. Azza, do you think it's you? Mm -hmm. Sure? Yeah. Mm. Kamal, do you think it's you? Uh, no, I think it's Azza. Really? And are you okay with, sis with your sister winning over you? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you're okay with that? Are you, are, are you guys uh, twins? No. Uh, no. No, okay. Mashallah, you look uh, like. Okay, let's have the scores and let's see if Azza is the winner or not. Here we are. Mm, the scores. Okay, so Azza got 100 points. Kamal got 90 points. 
Good job, Azza. Really, really good job. Thank you so much. You're the winner of this episode. You did a really good job. Uh, Kamal, you also did a really good job. Thank you so much for being with us. And by, you know, uh, as we are approaching the end of this show, would you like to say something, Azza? No. Okay, thank you so much for being with us. Uh, Kamal, would you like to say something? No. Okay, thank you so much. Are you sad? No. Okay, I'm sure you're not. Thank you so much, both of you, for participating with us and for being with us today. And we enjoyed having you. Congratulations, Azza. Viewers everywhere, brothers and sisters, thank you for watching. Be always well, and until we see you again in a future episode, in an upcoming episode of your show, Koda Quest, be always well. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.